Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. <laughs> I, uh, in our opinion, of course, Bob. I'm really kind of flubbing that up today. Do you remember that from Green Acres? Yeah, Green. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. All right, today we're going to tell you how to fix hunchback posture fast with a simple broomstick. Um, you may have to steal this from your spouse, or I'm not saying she's a witch. I know what you were going to say. Well, you, you know, you're saying, anyways, go on, Bob. My wife is the nicest person. You know, when, when people meet her and they're like, yeah. boy, your, your wife is so nice. And yeah. boy, if they met her with uh, the way she talks to me sometimes. I hope she's not going to watch this no, video. She doesn't watch I'm going to call so. her and tell her to watch So it. with the broomstick, what you want to do, by the way, is just go ahead and take the little brushes off there. <laughs> what do you call it? Is that, it that would be the broom part. Broom part. This yeah. is the handle. Oh. That's the broom. Okay. He really does a lot of sweeping. <laughs> By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, you're going to want to go over to the Facebook and like us, Bob and Brad. You're getting a little slow there, Brad, uh, because we, uh, for like six, seven Sundays in a row, we, I don't know how long it's going to last, we're giving away major stuff. Not brooms, though. No, not brooms. We're giving away like mattresses, we're giving away Thermotex unit, which is far infrared heat. We're giving away, uh, we're going to give away some foam rollers. Right, right. So really cool stuff. So well, you'll, you'll see how to uh, sign up for the contest at, on Facebook. Right. So. Go to the Facebook, please. All right. So now we have your broomstick and, you know, this simple device you can use to help. We're talking about hunchback yep. posture. We're going to help uh, stop that. So yeah. let's go ahead. If you can't it. get your broom off the handle, you can do this with the, with the broom the, part on it. Right. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. So we're going to start off with the broom behind the mid back kind of crook, in the crook of your elbow here, pushing up against here, and we're gonna start with chin tucks. You, you know, while you're doing these chin tucks, Bob, I find I can massage my mid back very effectively. It feels great just by going like this, and do my chin tucks. A little double same. bonus there. There you go. But we're kind of getting your whole body in the right position here. Right. I don't want you doing chin tucks like this, right. and this helps get you in the upright position. Yep. Again, chin tucks, you're tucking your chin in, you're not going down, and you're not going up, you're going straight back. Yep. For some of you, if you're tight, you probably can't even hardly do this. Right. You want to get the motion that you can. Now, we're going to lead right into the next one where you can actually stretch. A lot of times for people, that hump occurs right here. Sure, that mid-back yeah, area. Mid-back mm -hmm. area, the kind of a hinged area. I remember Zach used to call it that. Right, that T12, L1 yep. area. So you can put this right in different spots, basically and then use your elbows to push forward and then bend back like this. And this is a great way to stretch that area. And you can, if you just move the broomstick up about an inch, you can feel it as a little different and you may find one spot that really feels good and then you're gonna work that spot a little bit more. Yep, I feel a little bit of cavitation there, oh. cracking. All right, moving on. Brad, moving on. Oh, I'm having, <laughs> enjoying this, Bob. All right, we're gonna put the arms up over the head here, and you're gonna go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together. You wanna do the, show the behind there, Brad? Okay, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together while you're bringing it down. So you're getting a little bit of a chest stretch, and you're in good posture, and you're, you're squeezing and get some strengthening of the shoulder blades there. Can you go down further? There we go, yep, go all the way down if you can. That's some people, some people actually do this, Brad. They actually take it all the way down. Well, yeah. You need a longer stick, I That's think. not happening with me. There we go. There we go. It's then squeeze up here. So, all right, you're going to do a good, you know, 10 reps on these. Is, uh, sure. That's yep. a good number. It's good, it's good that you mentioned that, Bob. Because we actually have 10 exercises, and you can do 10 reps. That would be 100. That would be 100. 10 times 10. Now, you don't have to do all these each time. Right. You can pick out some of your favorites and, and, and work it that way. All right, the next one is... Um, a lot of people, their chest actually is tight, and it brings their, it rolls their shoulders in sure. and, and puts them in bad posture. It makes that humpback posture worse. So you're going to stretch the shoulders by just putting the, the, the stick behind you, and you're going to lift up like this and give it a good stretch. And, and you might find your hand position, palms down or palms up. Do it whichever way you feel closer together, better. farther apart. You can yep. just vary it a lot of different ways here. There you go. We always want to make sure we catch everyone's personal attributes. Att yeah, you know, <laughs> these little things that work best for you, or it's just not the way we're showing it. I here. actually do this one in the morning when I'm walking. To, before my run, and I just take one arm and I pull it up like that. But I know, like, you have trouble with that. 
Just well, I can't. My, I have tight shoulders inherently, as a number of people will that are watching this. But for me to. Yeah, you can't reach. So that's where the stick work. comes in handy. Yep. It works all well for mm -hmm. that. All right, next one. You're going to go ahead and need a couple pillows. You're going to be on the floor. Whoa. You could possibly do this on the bed, too. Uh, but you're going to, these are going to, some good strengthening exercises, and you're going to see how well they work. You're going to start off with, I'm just going to go ahead and do the overhead one first here, Brad. And, yeah. and that's just a great way to start strengthening those muscles between the shoulder blades. Bob, I've noticed that your broomstick handle is kind of like lollipops on there. Yeah, that fits me and my personality just fine. I like it. So I'm keeping my chin kind of in good position. I'm keeping it in good alignment. I'm trying to ignore Brad. Right. And I, I don't know if you can see this. I, I wish I had his lollipop stick, but he's maintaining a nice uh, neutral back and spine position. All right. Then we're going to go to the next one where we actually tap side to side here. And we're just getting a little bit of different muscles. We're catching the paraspinals of the lumbar area there, too. Yep. This... This it's works. a lot harder than it, it is. is. This one works really. This one is a great one to do. All right. You'll find if you haven't done these, you will not, more than likely, will not be able to go this long because you're, you'll fatigue throughout the back. Whew. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it behind me, and I'm going to do the same things. So I'm going to go up first like this. Do a set of ten. What one thing you might want to do is take a towel roll. Then so you can put your forehead no, on. Uh, no. Your neck gets tired. How nice of you, Brad. Well, I, you know, I was picking on you because of your polka dot <laughs> stick. You know, I wanted to make up. And All right, and now I'm going to the side one here again. Otherwise, people think I'm mean. You get comments like that every now and then. I, for a while, people were saying that I was mean to you. Well, yeah, I, I don't worry <laughs> about that anymore. But this is another one that's much harder than it looks. But you can see how my back's working, right, Brad? Oh, yeah. My big muscular back. Oh, it is incredible. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, let's see, we're down to number nine already, aren't we? Yeah, it's moving along. All right, you got your pole? Well, don't Let's worry, stick. Bob. This is kind of more of a balance one and posture one. Mm -hmm. This is when we're doing this one, Brad. You yeah. remember this? Yeah. This, this I, is... I don't even do this one that very well. I'm too tall. Yeah. It's... it's... Ooh, this one really does. It's a nice balance. Works and the posture hips. one at the same yep. time. That's a little hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is one. You I'm better on this side. For for the more athletic people, if you could do this and then try and go forward, wow, that gets really challenging. Oh yeah. yeah it works those low back muscles. Just the hamstring there yeah, too. It's amazing what you can do with a broomstick. All right, the last one. I just I like this one just to kind of check your posture when you're all done mm -hmm. to see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. And especially, this is a great way to go ahead. And you want to make sure you have three points of contact. I'll show you. Want to show it on me, Brad? So we got the head, the mid or upper back, and then right across at the like sacrum, the pelvis or sacrum. Pelvis, yep. And then while it's in position, so you know you're you know this is you're getting the good posture. You got rid of the hunchback. You want to go ahead and do some bends while you're doing it and keep that posture while you're doing it. So the, the three points must maintain contact. So you're teaching yourself to lift correctly. So you know when I'm, if I take it out of the way here, and if I pick something off the floor, I'm gonna maintain that same right. good posture. Try to, way to get that muscle memory and that body mechanics so that it becomes a part of your habit, and then you don't have to think about it anymore. Yep. And, uh, you want to find a broomstick like this? Uh, good luck. I have no idea where my wife bought it. Yeah, that's a very nice one, Bob. I yeah. was just poking at you. Yeah, before. I bet you were. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. <laughs>